Today is a win, and I mean this sincerely, a win for America. A national sigh of relief as the country's major rail lines and the unions representing their workers agree on a tentative deal to avoid a massive strike Friday. A work stoppage that would have crippled the U.S. supply chain and threatened the country's economic vitality. I think we got everything we could, and I think once our membership understands where we sit and what's in it, I think it'll ratify. The deal coming early Thursday after a grueling 20 hours of negotiations. If they're still standing, they should be home with bed. Immediately, it averts a shutdown that could have spiked prices on food, gasoline, and general merchandise, and further strained already struggling ports and trucking lines. Dire stakes that kept negotiators in the room all night. Somewhere between midnight and four in the morning, uh, uh, I started seeing signs, I think we all did, of, uh, uh, of uh, a, a positive turn in those talks. The agreement is also a relief for Amtrak, now working to rebook customers it booted off canceled long-distance trains, worried passengers would get stuck partway through a trip if freight lines closed Friday and trapped their trains. For freight rail workers, the deal delivers on some of their biggest demands. This deal will deliver the biggest raises that railroad workers have seen in more than four decades. They're set to receive 24% uh, raises over five years and also $5,000 in bonuses and an additional paid leave day off a year. It also comes with additional unpaid days off for doctor's appointments and other medical needs. But the unions didn't get everything, leaving paid sick time on the table. Sometimes you can't accomplish everything, so you come back next time and we'll uh, live to fight another day. Union leaders might have a tough sell. Comments on rail worker Facebook pages Thursday were less than friendly to the deal, and workers have to vote to ratify the deal over the next several weeks. I think at the end of the day, what union leadership is, is going to have to do is to say the alternatives um, aren't better at this point. They're, they're just not. Michael Leroy is a labor law expert. He tells Newsy he sees an 80% chance the unions ratify. As a, a, a labor law scholar, I would just say, be careful you don't overplay your hand because it's not only your relationship that's involved, it's the labor movement that's on the hook here. The, the industry should be realizing that they have been exposed as, as a group that pushed too hard, too fast, and it, it's time to, to have a more humane method of treating your workers. If workers agree to the deal, it will avoid a potential economic meltdown and clear a political hurdle for the president ahead of the critical midterm elections. This agreement is validation, validation of what I've always believed. Unions and management can work together, can work together for the benefit of everyone. The question now is, can unions convince their workers to nod along?